Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to part 4 of our historical challenges series on MotoGP19. Now we've done one challenge so far from the 500cc heroes, the dawn of the GP and great rivalries. You can see all those over on the channel and in the playlist. But today we move to the first one of the modern era and it is with Troy Bayliss. So it's Bayliss winning wildcard. So one of MotoGP's biggest surprises takes place in Valencia on the 29th of October 2006. Three weeks earlier, Troy Bayliss is awarded the title of World Superbike Champion with Ducati and due to the absence of Gibernau through injury, the team decides to entrust him with the Ducati. Despite not riding a MotoGP race in 14 months, Bayliss is lightning fast thanks to Caparossi's advice and takes second in qualifying. And the next day in the race, he immediately takes the lead. Even though he never has more than a two second advantage, he manages to keep everyone behind him until the chequered flag. Unbelievable. So what have we got to do? We've got to beat Caparossi and don't fall. Seems uh, easy enough. And uh, seems like a good challenge to us. Now, I haven't ridden round Valencia yet in this uh, in this series or on MotoGP19 at all. So it'd be quite an interesting one, quite a new adventure. I've just recorded the third part of my career mode, my rider career, um, with our own rider in the Rookies Cup. So I recommend you go and watch that. That'll be the daily content on the channel. Hopefully we'll play through all of the scenarios. I can't really see how we're going to be able to facilitate time in the schedule to play through all, I think it's about 64 scenarios, but we'll try and find a way to do it. But, uh, oh, that's a bit weird, but we've only got one lap. Okay, we've only got one lap to do, so it won't be a particularly long challenge here. Might be able to get two challenges on the, out on the channel today then in that case, but let's see how we get on. So we need to beat Caparossi for the silver, uh, for the bronze medal, but also beat him by four seconds to get the gold medal. What's the gap to uh, Caparossi at the moment? Don't quite know. I'll have to figure that one out. 1.8 for at uh, 1.8. So we've got to beat him by another two seconds. Now it's quite weird to go from a uh, Red Bull Rookies Cup bike to a MotoGP bike, a, uh, a four-stroke anyway. But uh, turn two, the McDoing corner. These things are so powerful. It's crazy going from a from a Red Bull Rookies Cup bike to something so powerful as this. Two seconds is now the gap. We should be able to meet that uh, 2.4, uh, whoops, that 2.7 to get the uh, the silver medal. But it might take two or three attempts here to try and get the gold. But as long as we don't fall off, we'll definitely get the bronze, which is nice. I do like Valencia as a circuit. I think the cars have used this circuit a few times. Not an F1 necessarily, but the uh, lower formulas. But the bikes, of course, have been here for a number of seasons. Produced quite a number of fantastic finales. As Valencia, of course, Nicky Hayden. Fortunately, uh, no longer with us. Won a fantastic uh, surprise championship round here. Uh, of course, it was Rossi versus Lorenzo a few years ago, both on the Yamaha, I think, if I remember rightly. And then it's been the stage of, more recently, Dovi versus Marquez. Lorenzo was in front of Dovi, and uh, Lorenzo wouldn't let his teammate buy. And uh, I don't think that would have been enough for the championship, but still, it's uh, a bit ridiculous. But anyway. More onto this challenge. Coming around the final corner. This should give us a silver medal. It won't be a gold, I don't think. So we might have to give this another try, perhaps. But let's see how we get on. It'll definitely be a silver medal. Will it be a gold? What is it going to be? It is a silver medal. So let's play that one again. We've uh, we got a 2.9 second gap. We need to get another 1.2 seconds. Uh, and ideally really push it. But we've had one side to lap technically. Luckily it's a quite short challenge. Let's see how we get on in this this uh, this attempt. Another achievement then as well. So always worth doing <laughs> to get another achievement. But uh, I don't think you clearly don't get an achievement for every challenge you do. That would be ridiculous. But because we've done challenges from four of the different types of uh, challenges. We've got an achievement for doing one of each. So it's 1.3 seconds the gap at the start of this lap. I thought it was 1.7 last time. It's a bit of an advantage for uh, Caparossi, not for us. But we're just going to have to push like hell. We've had one side slap, as I say. It might take three or four attempts to do this. I think we can probably get to goal, but that's not the best line to take around that corner. That's really not going to help us, but you never know. Let's get tight into this corner. That's uh, probably not the way to do it. Proven by us just getting massively slippy into there. But it's all about pushing as hard as you can. I don't think we're going to get the gold this time round. Well, we're certainly not going to get the gold this time round. Goodness me. That's not what Troy Bayliss saw when he uh, when he first came into this. Blimey. Didn't think, right, I'll come from Superbikes to just fall off like an idiot. But uh, we're on autopilot. Hopefully we get a bit of a big, bigger gap. Because it was 1.7 last time. And starting with a big enough gap is certainly, uh, is certainly helpful. 
Might be 1.7 now, not really sure. Let's see what the gap is. It is 1.3, so a little bit annoying. It might have been 1.3 the first time around, but I'm sure it's 1.7. Oh, well. It's going to be tricky to gain 2.8 seconds in one lap. We might just have to take the silver here. We have already got the silver, of course, because we did beat uh, Caparossi by 2.9 seconds last time. That's a much better re uh, line through there than we took last lap, so that's going to help us uh, no end. And the gap is nearly two seconds now, so it's all about hooking up each corner, gaining as much time as we can possible. Remember, there's no difficulty settings in this... Uh... Oh, in these. Oh, well, we're off again. It doesn't help when you're dipping on a Rookies Cup bike to go for a GP bike. Come on, power, power, power. Uh -uh, you ain't getting any of that. But oh, uh, well. Let's try. Is it fourth time lucky now? To be fair, we've already got the silver. We're just trying to be greedy and get the gold. And make this so it's not a ridiculously short video for you guys. If we did gold first time, we'd leave it there. But there's always something more to strive to. So 1.3 is the gap again. Funnily enough, the first the first and only time we got to the end of the lap is the first time. And oh my god, what a great time to record. There's someone blooming blasting music outside. So apologies if you're hearing that. I don't think it should affect anything. Uh, we're in quite an insulated room here with... Uh, it's fairly soundproof. But if you can hear loads of things in the background, I apologise for that inherently. 1.8 seconds, though, is the gap at the moment. We haven't got further than this corner the last twice. So maybe it might be time just to be a little bit less aggressive on the accelerator. And we're, well, we weren't really less aggressive there. Potentially just got away with it a little bit more. But I don't know what the gap is at the moment. It's certainly not four seconds. But it might be uh, approaching what we need for silver. 2.5. Oh, that's not going to help. That's really not going to help. We will, we'll make this, this our final attempt to get this, uh, to get this um, gold medal. I don't want to be here all day. I just want to show you guys that we can do this historical challenge. That's what it's all about. The series doesn't necessarily get gold in all of these challenges. It's complete the challenge. What's the gap now? It's certainly not going to be four seconds this time around. It's been quite a scrappy lap. 2.5. We're not, might not even get the silver medal here. But we're going to have to push. I mean, we're not doing that well here, to be fair. But we'll take the silver medal if that's what we can get. It's so going around the final corner. The Adrian Campos corner. Just going to have to try... Fire it out the corner. It's nowhere going to be a four second gap. It might be better than we did last time. It's maybe a personal best. Let's see how we get on. What's it going to be? The gap is... Ooh, just three seconds. You know what? Let's try it once more. Once more. It's quite a short one this is to do. So we'll try it just once more. It's, it's going to be tricky to pull out that extra second. But there's definitely points in the lap that was being shown that we can definitely gain a second. Dear me, can you play that any louder outside? Jesus Christ. Oh well, as I say, if you can hear that, I apologise, but the video won't be that much longer. Only one more attempt here. Just going to try and floor it. There we go, 1.6 seconds. So we're starting off a little bit more of an advantage. I suppose we could do with some traction control. I know it's, it's well, it's not cheating. It's just giving us a little bit more of an assist. A little bit more assistance with this challenge. It just helps to better control the bike. You know, we're flooring it and the bike just goes, right, calm down a bit. Of course, it, it limits the speed you can go. Uh, on acceleration because of uh, traction control and it's not letting you pull down the full revs you want to because it will just spin the bike as it has before so we'll see how we get on again we're increasing the gap decently not as wide into there that will certainly help probably turn traction control off now as you see there's a big effect to turning that off we just get it all wrong out of that corner what's the gap 2.3 so not as much as it was last time at this point but we definitely were very scrappy after that. At this uh, after this point, yeah, maybe it might be time to put traction control back on again because we are getting quite slippy out of corners now. It's time to get this right because this is a big corner for gaining or losing time, keeping it very close to the apex. In fact, way too close to the apex on that occasion. That really isn't going to help, I wouldn't say. The gap is 1.9, so no, we're not going to do the gold here, I don't think. But uh, oh well, that's why. Yeah, we're not going to do the gold. We'll come wrap round the line anyway. Round the line, come across the line, see how we do anyway. But uh, I think the gold medal is just out of our reach at the moment. Around the final corner, they very nearly fought off the bike. But for the fifth time, we've won the race. Way! But it is only going to be a silver. If Well, it might not even be a silver here. We might only get the bronze on this occasion. But a decent one. A very tough challenge to do. Four seconds in one lap. There we go. Only a bronze there. But we have passed the challenge. 
We've got the silver medal, and now it's probably up to me in my own time to go and get the gold. But if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment as well if you enjoyed, and subscribe for daily MotoGP content. But apart from that, I have been TIJ Game. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.